Hi all, and welcome to my channel, Fred Makes Things. Uh, today is part of my Sewers Club sewing series. Um, this is the um, what do I call them? Project pattern reviews, pattern reviews, Sewers Club pattern reviews, something like that. Um, I started this. Uh, uh, type of video last month with my um, pattern review of like the sewing machine caddy um, and I decided to continue it with this month's review of the simple sailor toiletry bag. Now the reason that I did it this way is because last March's um, project was a good one. And when I say March, I actually mean April. So last April's project was this dude here. It was the um, Darling Diagonal Makeup Pouch, right? And it came out looking like this. And I use this as a toiletries bag. Um, I, I took this to New York for my anniversary trip with my husband um, about a month ago, I would say. Um, it's holding up really well, I really enjoy it. So um, I didn't see the point in remaking it. Like I could have made it bigger if I wanted to, but um, I actually really enjoy the size of this guy. So um, I didn't see the point in remaking it. So um, when I showed my husband the patterns that I have bought from Sewers Club to do this like um, grouping of videos on and he saw that this was a toiletry bag he asked me if it was for him and I was like uh it can be why and he's like oh well I hate the toiletry bag I have now and I'm like oh okay he's been using this toiletry bag for like eight years nine years something like that he got it on one of his very first flights from um france to japan right he got it as like a, like an airline toiletries bag um and i thought that he really really liked it i thought it held sentimental value for him but it turns out that um all these years he's actually just used it out of convenience not out of care um he finds it to be too small um, he usually ends up having to pack, um, like his electric toothbrush, his deodorant and, uh, something else, his electric razor, actually his electric toothbrush, his electric razor and his deodorant outside of the toiletry bag because they don't fit inside. Um, and I was completely clueless eight years of not knowing that he wanted a new toiletry bag. So yeah, whoops. Anyway, so when he saw this bag, he asked me if it was for him. And I said, it can be. And um, I made it for him. Um, he's been on a couple of work trips um, over the last couple of weeks. So um, I made it my priority to make it for him for this month so that he could um, have it to use. So it's kind of cool that last April, I made a toiletry bag for myself. And then this April, I made a toiletry bag. For him um, so yeah that was a tangent you didn't need to hear but there you go so what is this simple sailor toiletry bag um, and how did I get my hands on it so I think I mentioned in last month's box or in last month's pattern review video um, that Silver's Club has made their previous subscription box patterns available for purchase and I was like ooh that's awesome. I'm going to buy me some patterns. And it's really great because if you like, if you like have been watching my Sewers Club content, but you're unsure about actually subscribing to the box, um, but you like some of the patterns, now you can just buy the patterns individually, um, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, 
Also, I just found out uh, today, I received a text message from Sewers Club letting me know that they've changed their prices um, again. My grandfathered price that I'd been going off of since, I think Christmas um, is being changed. I'm okay with that. I don't think it's a huge difference. But one of the perks they've included is that now all of the tutorial videos for all of these projects are now available for me online. So I think I'm gonna take a look at a couple other projects and see if um, I wanna purchase the pattern for them as well. Um, I like having like the video tutorial and having a pattern um, to work off of at the same time. So I think that um, that's gonna be kind of nice. Um, and then the third piece of housekeeping I'm sure you can see I ha I'm filming in a white background. Um, I'm on my husband's desk because, well, as I said in my last video, my dining room table is full of project materials. My desk, my personal desk where I normally film things are also full of different projects. Um, so this was the most convenient spot in the house. So here I am. Let me know if you like this bright white background and I might steal um, my husband's desk more often. There's a cardinal outside of my window. He's making some lovely chirping noises and is completely distracting me. I have no idea if you can hear him or not. Between him chirping and my cat snoring, there's quite the, uh, the sound going on around me. I love cardinals. All right, last tangent over. So um, now we're here for what you actually probably clicked on the video for. So I'm gonna do this video in <laughs> several parts. Uh, part one is introduction, which I just did. Part two is um, making the project. Part three is pros, cons, and user error. And then part four will be my final thoughts and send off. Um, I'm going to try to go through making it fairly quickly just because um, I've rambled for too long already. And it's actually pr a pretty simple project. So I'm going to open her this up so that I can kind of read over how to do it as I did it. Um, I have, um, I made this uh, in March, right? Like I said, in preparation for my husband's trip to New York. Um, so I think I finished it two or three weeks ago. So my brain might be a little bit foggy. Um, so first of all, like I always do is I selected my material and ironed it. Um, I had, I had to go to a uh, Joanne's and pick up, um, two fat quarters. So I picked up this blue and I picked up um, this blue swallow material which I think is beautiful kind of wishing I bought more of it and then I had um, this blue this white and blue fisherman fabric like child's fisherman fabric that I picked up in France. Um, this I have like three meters of and I only needed a little bit. I only needed basically like a fat quarter of it. Um, so I still have a whole whack load of it left. But um, yeah, I figured I'd actually use some of my official fabric stash for a project, um, especially since it's for my husband, right? We have like a soft spot in our heart for France. So yeah, those are the three fabrics that I chose. So first off, I did what I always do is I ironed them. Then they wanted me to um, uh, uh, sew them together. Or no, I think, yeah. Then they wanted me to cut everything out. It was pretty simple cuts too. It was um, 
two, so for this one here, this is exterior A. I had to cut two pieces for the exterior body and two pieces for the um, zipper poles. For exterior B, which was this guy, I had to do one large piece of a 14 by nine for the base of the exterior body. Um, and then six, six by two pieces for the interior binding. And then in the lining, I had to cut one 14 by 18 piece, and that's for the interior lining. Then I also had to do some fusible fleece, um, two pieces at 14 by five and a half and one piece at 14 by nine. And that was for the exterior body. So I did something a little differently with that. And instead of fusing my fusible fleece to the cut pieces of fabric, I sewed my fabric together and then cut out the fusible piece uh, to iron onto it, um, if that makes sense. So instead of having like three individual pieces to fuse onto, I just um, sewed my exterior body pieces together and then used the fusible fleece onto it. Um, then from there, you could either choose to quilt it or not quilt it. Um, a, I was in a bit of a hurry, and B, I'm tired of quilting things, so I decided to keep it unquilted. From there, they had you attach your zipper to your exterior body, um, and then your interior body, as they always have you do for Sewers Club. Um, then you did a top stitch along the zipper as well. Um, you also did a top stitch between your two exterior body um, panels as well. I'm not sure if I did it when I attached the zipper or if I did it before. Um, yeah, um, they also wanted to... Oh, we'll talk about that later. So yeah, we did the zipper. Um, they did a really big process of how to... Or they did a really... They explained in the tutorial video how to um, use one of the pull apart zippers or zippers by the yard, I guess they call them for this project. Um, I didn't do that. I had, I just, I bought a regular zipper and I'll explain how I worked with it um, when I do pros, cons and user error. Um, yeah, so the exterior was turned or was sewn together with the zipper. The interior was sewn together with the zipper. Um, they had you make the zipper tabs as well, um, and then you attached the zipper tabs um, to the body um, or zipper pulls or something they call them to the body um, as you're sewing the body closed. So they basically made had you make a cylinder and then flatten the cylinder with the zipper in the center um centering your zipper poles or whatever they call them what do they call them zipper tabs um they had you align the zipper tabs with the uh, middle of the bag with your zippers sewing the bag shut on both sides so now you have basically a closed flat sided um, pouch from there you turned the bag inside out or no the bag was already inside out sorry from there you um, cut your four corners off one and three quarters square um, so that um, you could puff the um, uh, bag up into like a three-dimensional pattern or three-dimensional style um, and then from there you did your binding which was what you had cut your eight pieces for or six pieces of uh, binding for they had you bind all of your interior which also gave structure to the bag then you flipped the bag right side out um, and you're done When did the bag get flipped right side out?
Yeah, so the interesting thing with this bag is that instead of working with your wrong sides, you start working with your exterior or with your um, right sides fairly quickly. Like once you've like made the general um, cylinder of this bag, you start working with exterior pieces. Right, with like all of this stuff pointing up and how you cover your work in the end is by using binding pieces. And I think that's kind of cool. I really like that. Often with the bakes that we do on Sewers Club, um, one of your last things is to right flip everything um, right side out and then cl uh, close up like the uh, two to four inch hole that you have left behind, um, usually in your lining fabric. So this was kind of a really interesting way of going about doing it. Um, and yeah, so without um, further ado, let's see what this looks like, what the bake, how the bake came out as. All right, so you've already seen it, right? It's in the thumbnail, but here you go. It's a little bunched up because I had it on my lap. So here's your top, right? Here's your zipper. I used a navy zipper. Right, here's your little fisherman. I think those guys are just so cute. Here's your swallows on the bottom, your uh, zipper tabs, and then your interior. Right, so you can see how we have um, on the interior. Right, you can see how everything is sealed with these. Um, binding strips and I normally hate binding but I actually kind of like how this looks these bindings right holding all of this fabric together really helps give the bag the structure that it needs to kind of sit in like that um, um, stiff like rectangular form <laughs> All right, so I really like this big. I really like how it came out. Here's your top stitching along the sides that I'm kept meaning, like, trying to describe. Your top stitching on the top, your matching top stitching on your pulls, right? Your bottom. Um, and I kind of went with like how they went. So like they did like boats for their top and then they did like a wave kind of pattern for their bottom. And I really liked how they did that, how they like uh, pulled inspiration from that. Their interior was like houses or something. I don't quite remember, but um, so that's why I did what I did, right? These kind of look kind of like waves, right? And then like the fishermen, it's that same kind of nautical theme. So yeah, that's the big, uh, that was the process of putting it together. I hope that made sense. I'm so bad sometimes at explaining things. Um, I'm really hoping that the pictures I took while going along the process really helped too to explain it. I didn't re um, refer back to the pictures before talking, so um, that could be why I sounded a bit jumbled. But we'll see. Maybe when I'm editing it, it'll seem better than it is. Um, all right, so now... Uh, oh, I also wanted to talk about the thread. So I didn't buy thread. I had this thread for Lord knows how long. So I used it and I think the blue came out really quite nice. It's the exact same blue as the little bowls in the fish and in here, right? So I think it turned out really, really nicely. I just wanted to say that this was the blue. I can't even tell you what color it is. It just says 100 percent uh, spun polyester by Trident. Um, the color might be 51, maybe CA0051, maybe. But like I said, I've had this, this thread for forever. So I don't know. I have no idea. I don't even know where the thread came from. All right. So pros, cons, and user error. Pro, I really like the bag. Um, which makes sense because, you know, I bought the pattern, so I was already liking it before I bought it. Um, I really like the fabric, but again, I chose the fabric. So what can you say? I really like the shape and the construction of it. 
Like I'm a big, big fan of the construction. Um, like I really like those binding strips on the inside that gives this nice, um, uh, like structure to it, like helps it hold it together well. My husband really likes it. Um, he's a big fan. He's managed to fit all of his toiletries inside. Um, he doesn't travel with much to begin with, but it is a nice roomy bag. Um, and yeah, it turns out too that he didn't have to take his liquids out um, when he was going through security uh, when he flew to Miami. They just like um, let him just plop this down, which is kind of cool. I don't know if that was allowed or not, but he was really excited about it. Um, yeah, so I, like, I like everything about this bag. I'm thinking of making one for myself or one or maybe a couple for Christmas presents or something. We will see. Um, cons. Uh, there aren't really any cons for me. Uh, the only thing I'm not a huge fan are these zipper tabs. Um, I've been seeing other like um, Instagram videos where they do something like this, but they have it like go like across here. It's my hair. When they have them like go across here so you can lift it like this. And I think I like that a little bit better. So if I were to make this again, I might modify it to do it along the side instead of sticking up. Um, but that's pretty minor. Um, and then user error. Um, okay, so there's two things I want to talk about. One really isn't error, like an error. It was because I didn't want to buy a zipper by the yard. I wanted to just use like a pre-bought zipper. Um, because they're cheaper. Um, so that's the first one. And the second one is I did some cutting mistakes that I'll talk about in a minute. So we'll talk about the zipper first. So they wanted you to use an 16 inch zipper uh, by the yard. And um, like I said, I didn't have that. I didn't want to buy that. Um, I really wanted a navy zipper. Uh, and so I opted to do a really long zipper instead. Um, at Joanne, I believe, this is my understanding, that the zippers basically cost the same price no matter how long you buy them. So it required 16 inches and that was for a lot of the, mani the manipulation of the bag. Uh, so what I did is I bought a 20 inch zipper so that I could have um, like my pole sit pretty far away from my fabric so that I could work with the fabric better. Um, and then when it came time to seal it all off, right, I just cut it down and it worked just fine. So if you don't want to buy a zipper by the yard, you could do what I did and just buy like a, a zipper that's a lot longer so that you have like a bit more um, wiggle room with it. Definitely don't buy a 16 inch zipper for this because then you'll have a really hard time. Try to buy something quite a bit longer. Um, and then for my second comment user error thing is like always, right? I cut before I measured twice um, the interior fabric. So right here, there's a seam and that's because I accidentally cut the fabric an inch too short. And so I kind of cobbled together some more fabric to make the interior work. But as you can see, it doesn't really mess with the interior or exterior of the bag. Like it doesn't change any of the integrity of the bag. Like it still holds its shape. It's not tight or anything like that. And the seam is on the top right here. So you can't even really see it. And I don't think it's gonna mess too much with the wear and tear of it. Um, and then I guess my third user error is I was trying to be clever and really sew like this zipper without having too much um, of the zipper pieces showing, like trying to pretend like I had like an invisible zipper without having an invisible zipper. 
um, and that it works fine. There's no problems with it, but I was noticing when I was sewing it that um, some of my fabric was just a little too close to the teeth and it caused some minor problems with sewing, but now it's fine. Like it opens and closes just fine. So yeah, that's um, it for this project, I would say. Um, so let's do part four, final thoughts and sign off. So I don't have a lot to do with the final thoughts because I think I've made my opinion on this project pretty clear throughout the um, talking about it today, right? As opposed to what you get in the Sewers Club subscription boxes. Um, I got to choose this project um, and I really, really like it. It's a pretty simple project. It only took me a couple of hours to whip together. I um, do plan, I'm pretty sure I'm going to make more of them um, just because I liked making them. Um, yeah, the only thing I might change is this tab and like, it's not even that big of a deal. Like I kind of like the tabs like they are too. They're kind of fun to stick your fingers in. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, so, um, I think this is a really great and simple project. Um, if you are thinking about Sewers Club, I would say, um, on the level of difficulty, uh, I would call this like a um, easy to medium. Um, it wasn't as easy as uh, last month's project uh, pattern review, right? That uh, sewing machine caddy was probably the easiest project I've had from Sewers Club. Um, this, I would say, because of the interior binding um, and some of the like cutting and the instructions, like cutting the corners and stuff like that, I would say it's a little bit harder. And then of course you're adding a zipper. And if you're brand new to sewing, zippers can be difficult at times. Um, but their instructions and their uh, uh, video instructions are always so helpful that I usually never have a problem with it. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think. Did you like the, the um, fabric that I chose? Do you like how I stayed in the nautical kind of realm? Um, I know my husband did. My husband was like, oh, I don't care. Like, do whatever you want to do with it, right? And then he was looking at some of the fabrics I had laid out for, like, the um, uh, flowers that I had ju I've just posted on my channel a couple weeks ago. And he's like, ooh, are, are those it? And I'm like, no, dude. No, like, you're not getting the flower teal um, white turquoise flower pattern, right? Material, you're going to get something better. So he says he doesn't care. And then when he sees the options, then he starts to, but he's really happy with this project and I've begun babbling. So yeah. Um, are you thinking about trying out this project? Have you made a pattern like this before, but by somebody else? Like, um, since making this, I've been seeing a lot of, uh, Instagram videos that are very similar to it. So I'm guessing it's a pretty popular, uh, design pattern that is out there. Uh, let me know. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah. And I'll end with the usual things. Subscribe if you want to see more sewing content or any of the other content that I have that I post on my channel. Um, I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Next week is going to be, next Wednesday is going to be this month's Sewers Club review. Um, I just filmed the unboxing for that before I unfilmed, before I filmed this one. So um, I'm not, I love the fabrics. I'm not certain about the project, but we will find out how I actually feel about it next week. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. 
Um, subscribe, like I said, if you like. Um, and I will talk with you again soon. Bye.